Welcome back to Stooge Stream. I am your host, The Stooge. I just got back from the garage sales and flea markets and church sales and this is all the stuff I came back with. So give me a second, we'll clear it off and we'll start going through it all. Hope you enjoy. There's Pokemon stuff, there's Mario stuff, there's Disney stuff, there's video games, there's DVDs, there's all sorts of things in here. And stay tuned until the end because we're doing a subscriber giveaway where we're giving away two Pokemon packages. So stay tuned for the details on that. Let me clear this stuff off and we'll get to it. All right, I cleared that monstrous pile off the table. Let's start going through it. We'll start with the stuff that's going to Banks. Uh, SpongeBob beanie. Now, everything I show you was a dollar, and that's a dollar Australian until I get to the games, and they were three dollars each. That's it. Everything was a dollar. So, very good quality, brand newish SpongeBob beanie. One dollar. A giant Pokemon plushie. Let's go on to Banks. That was a dollar. You can have that and then give me shit about giving it to him later. A fat Pikachu. It's a very fat Pikachu. That's a dollar as well, so that's the stuff for Banks. Uh, out of the plushies, what I'm keeping is a Bowser. Really cool little Bowser. So he's going on my plushie shelf. And a Tanuki suit Mario so I'm keeping those two guys all the rest of this stuff is going to go for sale it's going to go out to uh, Blacktown Markets next weekend um, I'll probably put a couple of bucks a piece on them at best uh, except for a few that you'll see in a minute so we've got a Jake Trooper, Trooper. Now all the Disney ones I've checked, they're all official. So there is a Minnie Mouse. So you just got the tags. Disney. There is two variations of these. These are really nice. So it's a really tall Minnie Mouse in a wedding dress. Um, she's, I'm going to have to look up, I'm guessing she's worth a few bucks. Because these were only available at Disneyland and Disney World. And here is another one of those. In a bridesmaid's outfit. Uh, Babs Bunny. Looney Tunes. Got to represent some Looney Tunes. Bit of Babs. Uh, Yoshi! Yoshi! A nice size Yoshi. Uh, little Luigi. Uh, little Mickey. A uh, giant toad. He is a big boy. He's a big, big boy. Finn with a Jake pillow. That's pretty cool. Banks might want uh, them as well. Another Mickey Mouse. Again, there's all official Disney. You can see. This is a really nice Mickey. These are only available at Disneyland as well. As you can see on his foot, it is Fantasia Mickey Mouse. He's going to be worth a couple of bucks, I'm guessing. Uh, we got two of these guys. <laughs> the Star Wars Angry Bird plushies. We got a Han and a Luke. They're pretty cool. So again, these are all a dollar each. And Dragon Ball Z guy. Sorry, I don't know their names, but I knew he was from Dragon Ball Z. Alright. Uh, then I picked up... Just a couple of DVDs. I don't really buy DVDs. I only buy Blu-rays. Uh, only every now and then do I pick up DVDs. If there's something the wife's going to watch or I'm going to watch. And it's just easier than streaming and so forth. So we got um, 
Dexter Season 1. It's complete, but it's missing its slip cover. Uh, Dexter Season 3. This one came with that blood cover thing. It's missing that. Uh, this one's complete. Uh, Nightwatch. Definitive Edition. Horror movies. Not always easy to come across. So if you see horror movies, they're usually worth picking up. Lastly, the games. So these were $3 each. This is the most expensive thing I, I bought today. Um, the ones I'm keeping are for Samurai because I have no idea where my copy went. The Borderlands 2 Rapture Edition. Yes, I've got Borderlands 1 and 2, of course, but... This one comes with the art book. So I am going to keep this one and probably get rid of mine. Um, and I checked all these. They're all in really, really nice condition. Uh, Battlefield 3. That was the only pre-owned one, but the disc is perfect. Borderlands. Heavy Rain. Fallout 3. GTA 4. And Resident Evil 5. So these are just good table sellers uh, for when I have a market store. Like, you know, Resident Evil, Grand Theft Auto, Fallout. They just move really quickly because I only put the cheapest price on them. So, you know, they'll probably be like 5 to $10 max. Um, and they will just disappear. So that's what I picked up today. What about you guys? What have you picked up recently? Did I do... Pretty good, a dollar each on those plushies, a dollar each on the DVDs, and three dollars each on the games, and that's in Australian dollars. Let me know. And stay tuned after this for the details on our Pokemon giveaway. Until next time, I've been your host, The Suge. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, adventure, excitement, Stooge craves not these things. Welcome to the Stooge Revolution. Yes, that's true. We're giving away two Pokemon prize packages as a subs contest here on Stooge Stream. At the time of this recording, we're at 190 subs. When we get to 250, we're going to choose two, not one, two random people. And we're going to send one of these packages each to you anywhere in the world at my cost. You're going to get one Pokemon plushie. One spring-loaded Pokeball with some random Pokemon minis thrown in there. One soft squish 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 Pokemon large Pokeball keychain. One small Pokeball keychain. And one custom laser cut light up crystal Pokemon keychain. That is absolutely right and all you have to do is sub to the channel. That's it. Sub to us on YouTube at Stooge Stream. Have a good look. This could be yours. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, the Stooge. Adventure, excitement. Stooge craves not these things. Welcome to the Stooge Revolution.